Hey guys, welcome back to Economics and Comics, the sickest comic book channel in the universe. This is my previews video. Everything that comes out next week, cover, publishers, everything you need to know. Make sure to start watching my FOC live show. That is the most important show for you guys to save money and get information way in advance. So let's get going. Let's get sick. Hey guys, welcome back to your previews video. This one is for April 7th. I have been fighting something. I don't know what the hell it is. Um, and it's killing me. So my videos lately have been real quiet and lame. So bear with me till we get through this process. This is every book coming out April 7th. Um, there's I've got 236 comics to show you. So we'll go. Um, I don't want to be too loud i'll point out my faves and stuff like that this is a giveaway video guys if you want to comment and like stuff like that you get it in randomizer and at the end of the video will be the giveaway from last week okay peace out y'all let's begin this is going to be really boring sorry been hurting okay from a blaze we have sumerian iron shadows in the moon number one new book I don't really need to explain it. It's Conan. That cover's sick. Cover A by level. B, Augustine. C. You know what I'm going to do, guys? I'm not going to read the names today. I'm just going to say the numbers. Uh, save me a lot of pain. This is sick. C. Cover D. Actually, that's... Yeah, that's D. There's the blank. 10 copy. 20. 30, 40, 50. Okay, from Absolute Comic Scripts, we got Markiplier number three. We've been looking at this damn book for like eight months. I'm just showing you it. Like, I've lost, no, I have no excitement on this anymore. Cover A. Cover B is a Army of Darkness parody. Magicka number two, cover A. And cover B. Hall of Foil. Shadowed Children number two. Wayward Legends number three, cover A. B is a metallic ink Genzo. From Aftershock, we have a new book called Project Patron number one. Thirty years ago, the world watched in horror as the patron, a hero sent as humanitarian aid from a different dimension, went punch for punch with Woe, a primordial beast and a perfect match for our mighty protector. In the end, hero and villain alike fell, but the patron returned and continues to defend us today. At least that's what we've been told. The truth is the patron died along with Woe. Ewan replaced the patron with a reploid. Designed to mimic the real patron and continue on the mission of protection. Today, the patron reploid is secretly piloted by an elite team. A team prepared for anything except for the death of one of their own. Could be interesting. It's I don't know. I don't know, that's cover A. And here's the 15 copy. And Miles to Go, number four. Now from American Mythology, we have McCandless and Company. It's like, I think it's a one-shot. Um, they're private detectives. Uh, from Archie, we have World of Archie Comic Book Digest, number 108. Okay. From AWA, we have Resistance Uprising number one, new book, continuing on the Resistance stuff, continuing with Raza's dope ass covers, and cover B by Diodato. They're just as good. And Casual Fling number three. Okay, from Behemoth Comics, we have Hotline Miami Wildlife number eight. From Boom, a magic book's out. Magic the Gathering number one. Are you magic people? Cover A. B, cool, C, D, 25 copy, 50 copy, 100, 200, 
And there's an unlockable cover. We also have seven secrets number seven cover A, B, 10, 25, and unlockable. Origins number six cover A in the 10 copy. Buffy the Vampire Slayer number 24 cover A, B, C, and the 25 copy. Last Witch number four cover A, B, and the 25 copy. And the Berserker number one, second rip foil. These are probably going to sell for a lot more or more. Um, Try to find one. From Dark Horse, we have Beast of Burden Occupied Territory number one, cover A and B. I like that B cover. Beer Case number three, cover A and B. Dead Dog's Bite number two, cover A and B. God of War Fallen God number two. And Overwatch Tracer London Calling number five, cover A and B. Okay, here we go. Batman 106 second printing. You know, I was wondering, like, why would they do a second printing? It's a good cover, but it is Miracle Molly's like brief appearance, so that's why. Batman 107, okay? The reappearance of an old enemy and the rise of a new gang in Gotham called the Unsanity Collective. They touch a, a little bit on it in uh, Batman 106. And uh, let me tell you something. Jimenez is a badass artist. The internals on Batman are so good, man. I mean, they're good. Probably the best. And of course, the writing with Tinian, the man. So we're building up to Miracle Molly. There's a bunch of exclusives. One's launched already at my store, economicsandcomics.com. And today, sometime, another one will launch. A special one, very limited. And there's more to come. Um, cover A, B. These are all good. The Federici's. The Federici's are everywhere. They're so good. Crime Syndicate number two, cover A and B. It says the origin of Owl Man. Dream Waking Hours number nine. That's a damn sick cover, dude. Far Sector number eleven, cover A and B. Green Lantern number one. It says, is, is this the end of the Green Lantern Corpse or a new beginning? Cover A and B. And the 25 copy. Joker, Harley Quinn, Criminal Sandy, number eight. This is it. Cover A and B. I like that. Man Bat, number three. Next, Batman, second son, number one. Okay, it says here, Future State Tim Fox is the next Batman. But what's his origin story? Why has he been estranged from Lucius Fox and his family for so long? Number A and B. Sensational Wonder Woman number two, cover A and B. Suicide Squad number two, cover A and B. I didn't, this might be a good one. I don't know. I, maybe. Swamp Thing number two, cover A and B. Okay, here we go with dynamite. I'm gonna try to make it fast. I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna say 10, 20, whatever. James Bond, Agent of Spectre, number two. Here's the 10 copy. 20, 25, 11, 15, and the premiere. And we have Sonya Versal, number three, cover A. B, C, D, and remember guys, I'll say the name, that's great, right? that's Sampio, I'll say the names the next week hopefully, but I'm hurting, bad, like, stop doing this video out of love in my heart, I should be in bed, so just bear with me on the A, B, D, I hate that, I hate channels, that's all I do, I hate that, I, I like to tell you who's the artist, but I'm already dying, 
F G H N twenty 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 five twenty five twenty five thirty thirty five forty fifty limited virgin limited virgin premium premium oh my gosh seven eleven <laughs> and fifteen heavy metal we got chasing the dragon number two cover a and the ten copy now in my video yesterday top three we talked about the rise it looks like it got pushed i have a feeling it's gonna be a great book guys i'm gonna try to get some um, i think my diamond account's now good to go so i think i might have been able to pre-order some uh, yeah the, the, I, i'm excited for that personally whether it's hot or not it's a previous video hero tomorrow comics we have a new book called bloom Number one. It says here, the year is 69. Ramsey is an aspiring comic book artist who is trying to find inspiration for his femme fatale. Femme fatale. When he meets his wild dancer Regina at a street fair, he invites her into the woods for a character photo shoot <laughs> where she begins to break on through to the other side. Witness the psychedelic origin of the most powerful character in Hero Tomorrow Comics universe. A mind-bending forestry journey to reshape reality. Okay. Cover A. Here's cover B. Here's cover C. From IDW, we have Transformers, 84 Legends and Rumors, 100 page. Marvel Action, Captain Marvel, number 2. And the 10 copy. That might, People might want that. Star Wars High Republic Adventures, number 3. Okay. A powerful new adversary called the Nile arrives. So, I'll be getting it. I think he's already appeared a couple times or whatever. And the 10 copy variant. Transformers Beast Wars number 3 cover A, B, and the 10 copy. Okay, here we go. From Image. Geiger. Number 1. Who are the scavengers of the dying Earth? Geiger is set in the years since a nuclear war ravaged the planet. Desperate outlaws battle for survival in a world of radioactive chaos. Out past the pat poison wasteland is a man even the night crawlers and organ people fear. Some name him Joe Glow. Others call him the Meltdown Man. But his name is Geiger. Okay. Number A. B. C. And D. Next up from image, Silver Coin number one. Each issue will tell a tale of terror in a shared supernatural world. The story starts in 78 with a failing rock band whose fortune subtly changes when they find the mysterious silver coin. Little do they know that fame comes with a cost and a curse is always hungry. Classic kind of thing. Classic story. Chip Sadarsky, guys, check it out. And Walsh. Cover A is Walsh, B is Latte. C is Nugent. Man, I sound horrible. Also, Ink Blot, number seven. Commanders in Crisis, number seven. Cover A, B, C, and D. Deep Beyond, number three. Cover A, B, C. D, E, F, Firepower number 10, Noctera number 2 guys, cover A, B, T, D, E is a hunter copy, 
C and D is 25 and 50. Walking Dead, number 12, cover A. B. Bliss, number 6. Savage Dragon, number 258, cover A and B. Now, from Mad Cave, we have Nottingham, number 2. Okay, Marvel, we have ASM, number 63, cover A. The Weaver design you might want to get, maybe. Pretty cool, 25 copy. If you can get it and you're into, you like Spider-Man. Pacheco Reborn. American Chavez, made in the USA, number 2, regular. And the Bengal. Avengers, number 43, second printing. Avengers, number 44, it says, the debut of an all-new Phoenix. Weaver. 10 copy. Momo. Momo 1 in 100. Avengers Mech Strike number 3 regular. And the Nakayama. That's cool. Conan for 20. Regular in the 25 copy variant. Demon Days X Men number 1 second printing Momo. And then the 1 in 25 second printing Campbell. Excalibur number 20. It says. An invisible threat is loose on the Isle of Krakoa. Okay, guys, get ready for this. Immortal Hope number 45. I know something about this book, and I'm not going to spoil it. But I'm telling you to get it. I wish I could get more. Let's put it that way. Try to get one. What I'm hearing... You want to get it. Been sleeping a long time. This is the one where it wakes up. Just trust me on this. At least from my source, we know 100%. Uh, cover A, I love it. I've pre ordered a bunch, I think. The Bennett homage, I love a lot too. Pacheco. The Life Field. And the Deadpool, the Deadpool 30th right there. King of Black number five. Well, I spoiled it. So be it. There's something else I didn't tell you. And I'm going to tell you right now. I already told you the storyline. There's a lot of con questions on this new storyline coming later. Who's going to be this new symbiote or something? Well, my source told me, and if you don't want to hear... Close your ears for 10 seconds for right now, okay? Just 10 seconds from right now, close your ears. Starting now. So, apparently Flash, at the end of the book or something, reaches his head, hand out of the grave. He's back. So, there you go. Spoiler complete. Spoiler complete. Okay. Anyway, here's all the covers. Hooray. You, Tattoo, Stegman, that's a 500, Young, Sandoval, oh, that's still 50 copy, Stegman Spoiler, and Booth Wraparound. King and Black's Planet the Symbiotes number three, the return, oh, it says the return of Toxin in this, guys. Marauders, number 19, regular, and the 25-copy variant. I bet you that, that heats up. Just a little bit. Runaways, number 30. You got to think about this. Who, dude, who orders 25 copies of Marauders? <coughs> it's a 1 in 25. Runaways, 35. Squadron Supreme, Marvel Tales, number 1. And the 1 in 50 variant. Okay, now, Star Wars High Republic number four, Danger from an Age-Old Enemy, The Secret History of the Terrifying Drenger Revealed. Okay, for A, here's the one in 25, here's the Bustos. And then we got Venom 34, from what I heard in this book, it kind of all ties in. I think it ties, it's like before King and Black 5. Regular, Stegman, cool, Sketch 100, Superlog, 
For Moni Press, we have a Gratsuko Meets Her World, number one, new book, cover A and B. Rick and Morty, Worlds Apart, number three, cover A and B. From Red 5, we have White Lily, number two. For Scout Comics, we have, okay, Locust, number one. I'm going to read it because it seems interesting. Most of humanity has fallen victim to a terrible plague that turned them into giant locusts. As the locusts consume the earth, the uninfected survivors struggle to stay alive. During the Great Transformation, a fisherman and his elderly mother try to escape a decimated New York City. Can they survive? Okay. And shit show number three. Okay, from Second Sight, we got Blowtorch number one. A couple here, I'll tell you my favorites. We got Blowtorch number one. Chess number one. Okay. This is one of them. Duplicant. Now these all... These all have a regular cover and like a five copy variant. But from what I heard from the writers, it's like, it's just, a, well, it's not five copy. Okay, this book out of these ones, there's two of them. Duplicate number one. Duplicate is a thriller about the force conspiracy against one man who offers hope during a pandemic. That one man is Matt Travers, a scientist who creates duplicate organs that save humanity from the organ failure contagion. Only their high cost forces people into indentured servitude in answer to this a dangerous black market arises which is run by a religious fanatic at matt and matt's former mentor following matt's life-changing encounter with a duplicate the re receipt of this technology he comes to question everything he knows as he strives to learn the truth behind his encounter on a long way and covers an even bigger mystery about the fate of mankind now i like the cover and i like the sound of it but i hate to say this but this is a rip of the story that was a movie where you would rent body parts and they would go Forrest Whitaker was in it and uh, what's his name Repo Men it's Repo Men cool cover though I'm sure the story will be good okay now <laughs> this is my other pick out of these second sights so for me not to hate on second sight for me it's a pass on chess and Blame the blowtorch or whatever, but duplicate and freak show night. This book during this his time in prison, Red was surrounded by the worst type of people: thieves, rapists, and murderers. Now on the outside, he's surrounded by the living dead. Armed with only things he's ever known, violence, Red finds one last chance at redemption for a lifetime of sin. I don't know. I think this might be my favorite. Here's another interesting book. This book is from a place called The Comic Book Guys. It's called Revenants Zombies on a Train. Okay? Oh, wait, no, that's the other variant. Here you go. Here's the new book I'm telling you about. <laughs> Two comic book store owners, who are also brothers, get caught up in a zombie uprising. Of course, everything's about zombies. Aboard an express train en route from Belfast to Dublin. The boys are first with faced with the moral dilemma of stopping the train to save themselves and let the contagion infect the world, or being heroes by keeping the train rolling and suffering the ultimate consequences. This battleground will be fought the only way they know, comic book style. It's going to be one hell of a ride. But it's unfun for us, you know, comic book people. Right? There's a signed copy. Okay. From Titan Comics, we have Blade Runner 2029, number four, cover A, B, C, and D. And Minion Sports, number two. Uncivilized Comics, we have My Dog JoJo, one shot. Valiant, we have Visitor, number six, cover A and B. Vault, we have Engine War, number nine, cover A and B. Hollow Heart, number two, cover A and B. Vampire of the Masquerade, number seven. And from Xenoscope, Tales of Tarot Quarterly Holmes, number A, B, and C. We did it, guys.
Love that scene. I'm gonna push again, bro. Let's get to the giveaway portion. Good luck. Let's go. All right, guys, we came right over this time. Filmed it all, came right over to the giveaway. So let's go. Let's see what's going on here. Here it is. All you had to do is like and comment, and uh, you're in. So here we go. If you're a sicko, you win two prizes. Here we go. Boom. Walt Callie. Looking forward to the that new Silk title. Walt Callie. I don't think Walt Callie is a sicko, but we're going to look. Like number 177. The reason why I have you guys like is that so I can find it easier. Used to be it was a randomizer by number, but now it's, oh my God. Francisco Waldmeyer has about 40 comments. 50. Someone is learning. Let's see. What did I say the name was? Walt Cali. I said 177, didn't I? Jesus. There you are. Okay, Walt well, isn't a sickle, but that's fine. So, Walt, here we go. What did you win, buddy? So, I did a sale recently, and I mean, there was like nine eights and stuff. And I was like, this one I think was like a nine six or nine four. It's kind of still nice grades, but reader copies and good stuff for you. So, you know what I'm going to do, man? I'm going to give you, instead of twice, just this week, I'm not feeling good, I'm feeling generous. I'm going to give you I Make Boys Cry, number one. It's 10 bucks. That's a variant foil. And this one, okay? And I'm going to give you the White Widow 2 special variant. And the White Widow 5. Oh, God, I love that cover variant. There's a bunch of stuff right there, man. That's a it's 40 bucks probably, whatever. So message me on Instagram or Facebook with your name and your address. And I'll get out to you as soon as possible. Um, I hope to see you guys tomorrow live for the FOC show if I can handle it. Got to do it, though. And uh, we're on our way. If you're new to the channel and like this, please sub. Check out this video next. Check out the store for all the pre-orders. Um, uh, the new new stuff, stuff dropping yesterday and today for Batman 108. And I'll see you guys later, okay?